Recently a viewer asked me how he can work out at home if he has little or no money to buy equipment. And that is a very good topic for a video because you actually only need little or even no money to work out. So that's what we are going to discuss today and um, to give a bit of background information about the concept we are going to discuss I first of all want to go back to a video I did about a year or so ago where we talked about which is better working out at the gym or working out at home. And in that video I gave you the example of Roman gladiators who didn't have gyms with machines for $20,000 but had to rely on much simpler methods to get the strength they needed. What I didn't tell you in that video was what they then did do if they didn't have those machines. And today I'm going to give you two examples for that. The first is what did the gladiator do if he wanted to drain his biceps but didn't have dumbbells? And what he did was simply he placed a lock across his hands and started curling that lock. And the stronger he became, the bigger the lock became that he used for that. The second example is what did the gladiator do when he wanted to train his legs? And what he did then was he started pulling an empty ox cart. And the stronger he became, the more weight was placed on that cart. And some of the strongest gladiators were even possible to pull the full cart up the hill, so they uh, probably had some very strong legs. Now, why did I tell you this? When we today think about working out, we either think gym or buying fancy dumbbells and barbells with shiny plates and all that. But when you look at the basics of it, working out simply means working against a resistance. And your body doesn't uh, care where that resistance comes from as long as this resistance is big enough to induce muscle growth. If you now start thinking a bit like a gladiator and look around your household, then you probably notice a, a lot of objects in your household that could double as an object of resistance you can let your body work against. And I'd like to give you some examples now for those. The first one I found was this bottle here, which I filled with about 1.5 liters of water which translates to about uh, 1.5 kilograms or three pounds of weight. And if you have two of these bottles here, then you can practically do all the exercises that normally are done with dumbbells. And here are some examples for that. And what at first looks like a disadvantage of using a water bottle as resistance object, the sloshing of the water in the bottle is actually an advantage a real dumpler can't give you, because this sloshing of the bottle uh, while you do a movement means that to hold the bottle stable in your hand, more of your stabilizer muscles have to work along, and you don't get that with a dumbbell. And if the water as resistance gets too light for you, you can of course use uh, sand for example to fill it, which should about double the resistance you work against, which will then be around um, 3 kilograms or 6 pounds. Now, let's say we want to work our legs and um, we, did, we don't have an ox cart at hand like those gladiators but we still need a bigger caliber for leg workouts and this is what I found for that in my garage here and this is a 5 liter oil canister and with this oil canister you can do the following
If you now look around your local junkyard or ask at a construction site, you might score a metal rod like this one here for free. And if you combine this metal rod here with two of these canisters, we have a makeshift dumbbell we can use for the following. What you have to make sure here about is that the bar or rod you get is really solid so it won't break or bend when you put weight on it. And also what you might want to do is put two rubber stoppers on here so that when you put your weights on them that if you don't hold the uh, rod in balance that the weight won't glide against you. What you don't want to do is um, put your canisters on it and then put stoppers on it so they won't light off because um, if you do that and you put too much weight in your makeshift barbell you might get stuck under it and that can be really unpleasant. And of course what you should also have is a um, floor, a ground where um, the weights can fall to without damaging it. Now with all this we already have expanded our possibilities to work out considerably but if we add a board like this one, and people who watched my previous videos already know this board, we can use one like this as a inclined bench, like here. This board here I bought for this purpose because the measurements of it were so ideal for it. But um, you can find something really similar for free if you look around a bit. For example, when you go to a home improvement store and their kitchen department, they often have these leftover pieces of what were supposed to be kitchen counters, but are cut up to two small pieces to be sold for that purpose. So they often give these pieces away for free or sell them for very little money and kitchen counters are really thick pieces of wood. If the piece you get is a bit too wide for what you need here then of course you can cut it off on one side to fit your measurements. So as you can see um, for very little to no money with just looking around a bit um, for what could serve the purpose we need here um, we found a lot of stuff we can do to work out and have a whole range of possible exercises that we can do. So if you have little or no money then don't see that as a roadblock keeping you from working out but more like an invitation to become creative and find ways to make working out possible for you. I hope that this video gave you some ideas and inspirations about stuff you can try out for workouts and of course if you now go and do that then of course please stay safe and sound and make sure that whatever you now choose as your new pieces of exercise equipment is fit for that purpose. If you try out a new piece then it might be a good idea to have someone around who keeps an eye on you and can keep you safe in case something goes wrong. With that being said, thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye.